I'm Vanessa from Jettle and today we'll be talking about the resonances and the dissonances in our textual conversation between John Donne and Edson's play Wit. But before we jump into today's video, make sure you subscribe to our channel or head over to our website jettle.com to find even more comprehensive resources about these texts. There are many resonances between the two texts, ways that they align or complement each other, but let's look at some of the really obvious uh, resonances that we'll see in the textual conversation. The big one is suffering and mortality and the commentary the two texts provide around mortality and human suffering and death as being the ultimate way of defining the meaning of life. And the lessons of mortality can only be understood by experiencing it, which is something that both the poems and the play agree on. Something else you'll notice as well is the way that our characters respond to their mortality. It's very similar in that Vivienne becomes an almost intertextual mirror to John Donne in that she uses his poetry and his persona to reflect on her own mortality and suffering. And throughout the play, we see the way this evolves so that she experiences a similar sort of anxiety that John Donne experiences in his poems as he faces his own death. So this is a clear resonance between the texts where the theme of mortality and this deeper understanding of this experience of, of expecting death and what will happen in the afterlife are universal themes. They transcend these two texts and they're enduring themes that can really be understood in any context, in any time. Even though Edson has written her play in a secular context, in a more modern age, her character also struggles with that spiritual sort of salvation anxiety, a fear of approaching death that John Donne also experienced in his very religious 17th century society. And the way that these two ideas resonate is actually shown in the construction of the text itself, because through intertextuality, Edson actually reimagines John Donne's poems in her meta theater and in her play through its postmodern structure. And we can see this, for example, when Vivian recites John Donne's poem, This is my play's last scene. In the poem, John Donne has used a poetic conceit to a play uh, to use that sort of imagery metaphorically to represent life's transience and the fact that just like a play, our life will end and we'll perform our final scene before the curtains close. And that is literally what Edson has used in the entire construct of her postmodern play to point to that exact uh, idea of life's transience and mortality racing and coming to an end. So let's look at an example where we really unpack this um, in, for, for instance, an essay response. Vivian's intertextual reference to Don's poem, This is my play's last scene, resonates with Edson's postmodern form, reimagining the poem's metaphor for mortality through the mode of metatheta. So this is uh, quite a short line, but there's a lot happening in it where we've referenced the way that the resonance um, between the two texts is both in its form, its structure of the two texts, the fact that we have a, a particular strong metaphor in the poem, which is being reimagined in the play's form itself, as well as the themes and the way that they resonate as well, this idea of mortality and the fact that life is transient. And you'll notice that in this particular instance, to make it really clear how the texts align, we've used rubric terms like resonates and reimagine. And you can use other words like align or affirms. And this shows how the values or the uh, ideas of the texts are actually um, aligning with each other and are connecting and makes it really clear to the marker that you're pointing to these resonances between the texts. It's just as important to look at the way the texts don't align or disagree. And the terms in the rubric are things like collide or clash even, where the values or the ideas or the forms don't always link up. And that's not a bad thing. We're writing, uh, we're looking at two texts that are from two different contexts and time periods and composers. They're going to have ideas that challenge one another. And that's something that you want to highlight in your textual conversation analysis. You'll notice right away that the values of the two texts don't always align. The poems often have a sort of intellectualism and wit as a key value, which reflects John Donne writing in the Renaissance era. And that contrasts with uh, the lived experience that is privileged as a true value uh, rather than intellectualism in the play, where Vivian deconstructs intellectualism and sort of suggests that uh, it is not as, as significant as having truth uh, that is through lived experience and lived knowledge. You'll also notice that that 
naturally connects with the context because the context has shaped those two ideas. The Renaissance context really held intellectualism and wit up as one of the highest virtues. And by comparison, the postmodern context that Edson was writing in does the opposite. It deconstructs truth. It deconstructs these sort of high meta narratives and instead privileges this idea of subjectivity and lived experience providing the ultimate truth. And of course, we see this in the form of the uh, text as well, because the metaphysical poetry of the Renaissance era that really utilized these ideas of intellectualism and sort of spiritual transcendent truth, uh, sort of things that were beyond the physical realm, are very, very different to the postmodern play where uh, the play itself deconstructs and challenges our ideas of truth. It's uh, two very different forms to convey different sets of values. If you like content like this, make sure you're following our channel or head over to our website, jettle.com, to get more resources on your texts.